Good afternoon guys and happy Friday to all of your sunshiny faces. I've got a Tony's and Caputo's haul for you guys today and so I'm going to share that with you guys. Got a lot of stuff done for today too. Um, currently the dishwasher is going so if you hear something loud behind me that's, <laughs> that's the noise um, coming from the dishwasher and then also the oven alarm, um, the timer, it might go off because I have got dinner and cookies, Christmas cookies <laughs> started in the oven um, and so those are in there right now and they are um they're both cooking at the same time for like for the same temperature so um we'll check those in a couple minutes i also ended up getting to some editing and uploading earlier today and then i might maybe try and do some more possibly while i eat dinner um but i'm gonna share with you guys first what we got from tony's and caputo's um, my dad stopped on his way home from work so i can share that with you guys i didn't go over the receipt yet so i'm gonna do that real quick um but like i said i'll share with you guys i think my dad got everything but the freebie friday from tony's um because my dad said they had they were like candy kind of things they said he found them in like the four pack but he couldn't find the single ones so i said just forget it don't bother like don't worry about getting it so I, I don't he didn't end up getting it but um other than that i'll share with you guys what we did end up getting from these two stores today all right so this stuff right here was from tony's um it ended up costing 13 dollars 86 after tax and we saved 20 51 so that was really awesome 50 percent savings so one of the sales they had going on was the two liters those were on sale for 99 cents when you bought four or five of them um, so I ended up picking up five of those for 99 cents each which is a good deal they also had the um, Oreo cookies which were on sale for 99 cents um, or I'm sorry $1.99 when you bought two with one of the like digital coupons so you picked up two of those I do have a recipe for um, not like a recipe we just do like for like one of our dessert cookies we'll do Oreos dipped in like um, like almond bark or you know like and then we'll like do um, normally I do it just to use up whatever almond bark we have left over after we do like chocolate covered pretzels so um like i said i'll normally do those so i like to have those extra oreo cookies so we can do that and then also too they had the monster cheese um tony's monster cheese on sale for 4.99 a pound we got about three fourths pound for three dollars and 54 cents and then also too they had broccoli on sale for 99 cents a pound my dad picked up a little under a pound so it was 83 cents for that which was pretty good so again too that was everything from tony's under 15 bucks not too bad um, like I said, they didn't have too much going on other than really the um, that fri freebie, freebie Friday that we didn't get. Um, but they also had their um, ham on sale for the same price, $4.99 a pound. We ended up getting ham a little cheaper at Caputo, so I'll share that with you guys in just a second. Um, but like I said, they didn't have too much else going on. They also had cauliflower on sale for $0.99 cents a pound, but again, Caputo's had it on sale a little cheaper. Those were the only things that were kind of a little bit different or, you know, like that were <laughs> close to still some pretty good sales. It was just again two caputos had them a little cheaper and then over here on this side of the table this is what we picked up from caputos it was $17.58 and we saved $7.66 again that's like temporary markdown so again like I've told you guys um, normally shopping at caputos um, and Tony's too sometimes like the retail price of some of the items like produce and things like that don't always like tell you like exactly what the retail cost would be versus what you actually save so like in especially too since we picked up majority produce items um some of the markdown prices aren't actually what they would be if it was like an out of season you know uh you know produce item or something like that so um Anyways, they had the first thing was the ham, like I was saying. It was on sale a little bit cheaper, so it was $3.99 a pound. We got about two pounds because we've been going through deli meat a lot more frequently, and also, too, um, there wasn't anything else that was on sale at any of the other stores this week, so um, we just ended up getting a full two pounds here. Normally, I get somewhere between, like, a pound to, like, two pounds anyway, so we just picked that up fully in the ham. Um, and then also, too, we picked up the Yukon Potatoes three-pound bag that was on sale for $0.99. Cents. Picked up one of those. And then also to the cauliflower, like I was saying, this was 69 cents a pound, so a little bit cheaper than Tony's where I said it was 99 cents a pound. Um, and we got a little under three pounds, so it was a dollar and 90 cents for that. The lettuce was also 99 cents each. We picked up two of those. And then the apples, those were on sale for um, 99 cents. We got about a little under three pounds for those, which was $2.83. And then also to the tomatoes, which were on sale for 99 cents a pound, we got a little under two pounds for a dollar and 88 cents so that was pretty good deals at um caputo's like i said 
um again everything was under like all the produce items were under 99 cents at least per pound or the item itself so again to based on the poundage then you know but um that again was pretty good deals at caputo's this week so um i'm gonna like i said get the dinner stuff finished up and the cookie stuff but at least we got all that done and um like i said then i'm gonna find myself something to eat but i thought i'd just share with you guys the hauls from these two stores today well guys i think in just a little bit i'm gonna take a shower and get to bed i actually think i'm just gonna have some blackberries and watch a little tv and then go to bed um it's still early but i finished everything super early today like i finished my grocery list to go to jewel and our plans ended up kind of changing too so me and my dad are actually going to go christmas shopping tomorrow um we we're actually supposed to do grocery shopping i think tomorrow and then we were going to do um so yeah i might not have a jewel and i told you guys it's going to be three days in a row i was going to have grocery hauls for you guys instead of grocery shopping it's going to be christmas shopping so i probably won't have a haul for you guys tomorrow instead it'll be sunday like i said things just got kind of all changed around based on people's schedules and stuff like that um but that still doesn't mean i have don't have to get up early tomorrow both days i was going to have to get up early either way whichever where we were going um because we want to get back so we can still do some like work upstairs so we still have to put in the outlets and like that my dad has like been slowly kind of working on that but it's not completely finished so yeah um and then also too like my parents bedroom needs to be finished cleaning like being cleaned up so that we can move jack and stuff like that so long story short um we just want to try and get that done and i told you guys too our tradition is normally my dad will take one of us um like us three kids out to go christmas shopping like one of the days of the weekends like leading up to christmas or sometimes it has to be a day during the week and we'll end up going um like shopping um like when we were little it was more because again too like we couldn't drive so my dad would take us um but now it's just kind of like our tradition like you know to go christmas shopping and um even two of us not like to pick out stuff that we're picking out or buying for people for christmas it's like again too to maybe help my dad give him some ideas or just to like to do like more of the in-store shopping um whereas my parents is, have done kind of a lot of online shopping but again too sometimes there's just you want to go to some of those stores that you can't always get things online from or even to just so you can see some of the stuff in in stores and you know um see what maybe you might want to get for somebody so um like i said that's kind of our tradition and um i'm the first one that's going <laughs> this weekend because we haven't really had an opportunity to do it so far so um i'm going to go this weekend and like i said we're doing that tomorrow we'll see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give the gold thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and i'll see all of our cinchini faces tomorrow so bye guys